old enemy. Jamie Oliver is back, and this time he making butter chicken. This guy destroy fried rice, destroy ramen, destroy Thai green curry. Is he now gonna make all Indian niece and nephew cry? This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Niece and nephew, do you know even when you use incognito mode, your internet provider like Verizon and AT&T can still see every single site you visit. Your boyfriend or girlfriend can see through network admin too high. Uh... That's why I use ExpressVPN. With one click of button, I protect my privacy, make my web browsing more anonymous, so nobody see me search for bad things. And it's so easy to use. See, just install and press big button, and now you're protected. ExpressVPN also let you change your online location. Do you know Netflix show you different show depending on where you live? Uncle Roger live in UK. Netflix UK don't have Parasite. But look at this, Uncle Roger changed location to Canada. And now Parasite is on there. Fui yo! No matter where niece and nephew live, ExpressVPN can help you get thousand more show. Find out how you can get 3 month ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash Uncle Roger. Or click link in description box below and now we start video. I've come up with a recipe that you could do any day of the week. This is my kind of version of a butter chicken. Ah, this Jamie version of butter chicken. Not traditional. Okay, okay. Uncle Roger, go easy on him. Won't be super strict on all the spices because I know he won't use most of the spice anyway. This is Uncle Roger on easy mode. I just gonna make sure your basic correct. All of this happens in a pan, so it's a super convenient recipe. Let's get that on a high heat, and then I'm gonna add 700 grams of fresh tomatoes whole. Essentially what I wanna do is scald, char, and blacken the skins of these tomatoes. Butter chicken is North Indian dish that use makani gravy, which is tomato-based gravy. So tomato correct, but just make tomato puree, no need to char it. Now at the same time, as we blacken these, we're gonna do the chilies. Split the chilies in half, and with the tip of the knife, take out the seeds. That's the hottest Aye, uh, bit. Just keep seed in there. Little spice won't kill you, Jamie. Big man like you can't handle small seed. So in these go. Now, as these tomatoes get black all over, what you'll notice is naturally the skins are starting to peel off. Wait, what, what, what are you doing? The skins are starting to peel off. The tomato dropped already, but he still pretend to put on plate. Let's get the last of the chilies on there. Now, let them cool down. If you want, you can cover them just to let them steam a little bit. Right, the marinade. Really, really simple. Marinade, a good. Bowl or a nice You're pan. making marinade. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the garam masala. Then correct, garam masala, correct. Cloves of garlic. And just garlic, good. Grater. Look at that. Then, I want a nice big couple of thumb-sized pieces of ginger. Just take a little Ginger, correct. To scrape the skin off the ginger. Then I'll use the same fine grater to grate the ginger. We will season it with salt. Salt, pepper. good. Two pepper, okay. Of lovely yogurt. Yogurt, correct. Comes to the chicken breast, it's all- Hiya, Jamie. Chicken breast. The marinade, all ingredient, correct. Uncle Roger pleasantly surprised. And then you fuck it up by using chicken breast. Hiya. For butter chicken, you want to use leg of chicken. Chicken breast, I think it's gonna overcook. Gonna be too dry. But to be fair, we one minute 22 seconds into Weijo. Of all the Jamie Oliver Weijo, this the longest he go before he fucked up. The thickness here at this fat end, then this part start to score it. About half a centimeter to a centimeter now thick. This will allow that lovely marinade to penetrate quicker. Score okay, you can chop to pieces also. There's no polite way to marinade. Get that into all the little slits and the cuts. I'm gonna let that marinade for about 10 minutes. What? What, what he say? I'm gonna let that marinade for about 10 minutes. Marinade for 10 minutes? For butter chicken, we marinate overnight at least 12 hours. 10 minutes, that's not called marinade. That's just a splash. 10, 10 minutes, the, the chicken's still alive, it's still clucking. Some people have premature ejaculation, but Jamie have premature marination. Sorry, children. Right, let's get cooking the chicken. I'm gonna get this nice and hot. I'll add a little bit of oil to a pan, and then mm. the chicken straight into that hot oil. Usually for butter chicken, you want to use a tanto, or if you're cooking at home, you grill. Not shallow fire like this, hiya. Niece and nephew, tanto is clay oven. You can see it at all the good Indian restaurants. It cooks food full of flavor. Like how Chinese cooking we have wok hey. Indian cooking have tanto hey. And I wanna get it dark and golden. Let's peel these tomatoes. Just take the skins off and the little stalk. The chilies I'll keep to one side. Hey! 
Hey! Bud, do you want to turn the chicken for me, darling? Ah, making your kid work for you for free? Uncle Roger, like, that's the main reason Asian people have kit anyway. Cooking the chicken, we're only going to do it for like eight to ten minutes. Well done, mate. So look, we've peeled through all of these little tomatoes, and then you can gather all of these little skins at the end, put them in your hand, and in there, that. No, don't hiya. Is that how you're making tomato puree? Just squeezing, don't do that. You're giving your whole family COVID. Your hands, big boy. Oh, chicken's looking amazing. Gnarly on both sides and just cooked through perfect. Gnarly on both sides. Gnarly? Who described good food as gnarly? That's how Uncle Roger described Auntie Helen. Gnarly. Right, let's get that on the board. Now let's make the sauce. It's really, really simple. So use all those pan juices there. No, 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 Jamie. You don't use the pan juices. When you cook meat, if you use leftover meat juices to cook other things, that very European cooking. Indian cooking like this, you make the gravy separately. This is not Indian. This is French. Let's get the tomatoes and all the juices into the pan. And now in with two tablespoons of that cashew butter. Cashew butter? Now, what is cashew butter? Butter chicken, we just use cashew nut paste. Cashew butter sounds like some organic grocery store whole food bullshit. Put down pretty quickly and go ruby red. So I've got 500 mils, give or take, of boiling water. Wait, no, There's no, 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 no. Don't add water to your magni gravy. Hiya. You're gonna dilute the tomato taste. This is where Jamie go wrong. He tried to make butter chicken for whole family, but he didn't use enough tomato. So he used water to make the volume more, but you're gonna dilute it. <sighs> this guy, this guy put water in egg fried rice and now he put water in magni. <sighs> Jamie, don't pour water in cooking. Not everything is pot noodle. And turn into a lovely thick sauce. Just get a fork and just squash all those tomatoes and let that boil vigorously for a couple of minutes. I am going to put some chilli in. The question is, how much? I think what I'm going to do is just go... So little. Up. If you want to take the edge off the spice... Wait, what, what are you putting? ...spoons of mango chutney. What, what, ma ma mango... what? Put like two teaspoons of mango chutney. Two teaspoons of mango chutney. Ma mango chut... He putting mango chutney into pan? This all over now. You make Uncle Roger put leg down from chair and you make all our ancestors cry again. Hiya, mango chutney. <laughs> Mango chutney is condiment. It's condiment. You don't cook it. That like cooking ketchup. Hiya. First chili jam in egg fried rice and now mango chutney in butter chicken. Put like two teaspoons of mango chutney. What are you doing, Jamie? Oh, does he know anything about Indian food? Don't just take random shit from cupboard and throw in food. Now what we can do is get that chicken in there and we want the chicken to be really juicy, right? And I want quite big chunks. I don't want like little wafy... Look a bit dry. See what I tell you? Bits. And then I'm going to put this in the sauce. No, you want bite-sized pieces for butter chicken. If this is bite-sized, who are you feeding this to? Coco Tao? This is not bite-sized. Jamie, I know you talk a lot of shit, but your mouth not that big. And let that chicken simmer. What I'm going to do now is just spoon. No, no, wrong again. The last step here should be butter. You're making butter chicken. This step should be butter. Where your butter, Jamie? Where your butter? Smooth like butter. Through the sauce, just a little bit of coriander on the top. And that, my friends, is going to be a beautiful curry. So look, I've got some rice here. I've put some what chickpeas in. Chickpea, hi, that not in. Chickpea Middle Eastern, James. Mm. Uncle Roger, phone drop. I don't even care anymore. This is too painful. This is not Indian. This butter chicken have everything except butter and Indian. And then just get it in there. Look at that. Big chunks of meat. Let's get amongst it. So, so good. That's good to go. Good Let's to feed the family. If by good to go, you mean good to go in bin, then you correct. So do you like it, River? Oh, yes, sir. Do you? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
Can you believe this guy got cookbook? For more Jamie Oliver madness, go check out Haya Podcast because Uncle Roger reviewed Jamie Oliver cookbook. It a vegetarian cookbook, so you know Uncle Roger gonna hate it already. Link in description. Uncle Roger reviewed Jamie Oliver so many times now, but he keep fucking up. So Uncle Roger gonna keep roasting him. <laughs> Jamie Oliver is back, and this time he making butter chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Oliver is back and this time he making butter chick Some people have premature ejaculation but Jamie have premature marination <laughs> That's so stupid <laughs> Gnarly <laughs> Who described good food as gnarly? That how Uncle Roger described Auntie Helen <laughs> This chicken is bite-sized if you're feeding it to alligator. This chicken is bite-sized if you're feeding it to crocodile. Crocodile sounds funny when I say it. Crocodile. <laughs>